Let me start off by sharing a comment that I got on the channel recently. So this comment came in from a guy named Lucas and Lucas writes, you probably are living on your parents' money. That's why you are saying that expensive things are better. Hold on a second, Lucas, because number one, I've been serving active duty in the United States Army for 18 and a half years. And number two, I've been running a successful business on the side for nine years. But thank you for making such an inane assumption about me. Now, all of you who aren't Lucas are probably wondering why I'm even bringing this up and calling this dude out in this video. Well, the reason is, is because it's a story that leads me to talk about trait number one, which is that confident guys take action. They do things, they get stuff done. And I'm not talking about the fact that I confronted this guy and responded to his comment, which by the way, has since been removed. What I'm talking about is the fact that I started a business, I did it, even though some people thought, no joke, that it was the stupidest idea in the world and I haven't been afraid to experiment and try different things as the business has grown. Now, you might wonder like, how did I even do this? This being he spoke style, like how did I start it? How did I get it off the ground? How do I keep it going? Those are great questions, but I'm gonna tell you, those are the wrong questions to ask. Now, I know I'm using myself as an example, but what I'm talking about applies to you because you don't get anything done like that, like a big dream that you have without possessing trait number two, which is having a vision. Now, a vision goes beyond what you're going to do and how you're going to do it. Having a vision means understanding why you are doing something. If you don't understand that, you can only take whatever it is you're gonna do so far. What you should know about this though is that for most of us, this doesn't come easy. It's a muscle that you have to learn to exercise. And for those of you who are looking to exercise that muscle, the book that I always recommend to get you started on that journey is Start With Why by Simon Sinek. So let me tell you one thing that like, you know, when you see someone that's successful, you kind of automatically think like, they've got it all figured out, right? They have that vision, they're, they're doing it, they're getting it done, they're successful, and from the outside looking in, it's easy to think that it's effortless, like it's some kind of magic, like this person has the magic touch, and whatever they do is a success. It's freaking annoying, right? Because you've had some great ideas, but for whatever reason, it hasn't worked out yet. So the thing is that successful people have been in that situation before also. They have failed, and probably more than once, but one of the traits of successful and confident guys, and we're on trait number three if you're keeping track, is that they're not afraid to fail. Your first idea and your first execution of something, I'm sorry, will probably not work. I wish I could say that he spoke style was my first idea that I ever had, but that is not true. So I used to run a website called Bags and Trees, which was basically just a blog that had pictures of plastic bags caught in trees, uh, and that celebrated the beauty of that phenomenon. It was completely a parody and social commentary website, and I just basically stopped it because I got tired of getting angry emails from environmentalists not getting the joke and telling me what a piece of I was. And I also ran for a while a site called The Serialist, which was basically the onion of classical music, started on the premise that classical music needed to loosen up a little bit and learn to laugh at itself if it wanted to reach more people and not be a dying art form. So that site lasted for two weeks and we actually took it down after getting some cease and desist letters from big opera star publicists, which, basically just proved our initial hypothesis that classical musicians take themselves way too seriously. I could keep going down the list of failures that I've had here, but I think you get the point. Do you know what else confident guys do? They respect themselves, which means that they take care of themselves, trait number four. They exercise and maintain their bodies. They eat well and are conscious of how they fuel themselves. They take care of their grooming to make sure that their appearance shows that they take care of themselves. All of these things, exercising, eating, grooming, can seem complicated if you're just starting to maybe get into them. But I think of the three, 
for guys, grooming can be the worst. That's why for grooming stuff, I always turn to Tish Hanley, today's video sponsor, because they make the whole grooming process super simple. And let me show you just how simple they make it. Box comes, I open it up, there's a card, it tells me exactly what to do, when to do it, and how much of the product to use. Everything comes together, so I'm not buying a whole bunch of one-offs and maybe forgetting something. All you really need to get started is Tija's basic plan. You've got a face cleanser, an exfoliating scrub, an AM moisturizer with SPF, super important to protect your skin from the sun, and a PM moisturizer to help repair your skin throughout the night. Personally though, I add in two other products and bump it up to their level three system, which includes a firming serum and an eye cream. Now, aside from great skin, let's talk about what you get when you join Tiege. Tons of perks, including at least 20% off the retail price, the ability to customize your box, shipping reminders, pause or cancel at any time, no hassle refunds, free US shipping, and low cost shipping to most other countries. And because Tej Hanley is sponsoring today's video, they're offering you guys a great deal. Just click the first link in the description and not only will you get Tej Hanley for the best possible price, but they'll also give you a free gift with your first box. So click that link to get started for just $30. Okay, so the next trait of confident guys is another sort of mindset. So let's say that you reach a milestone of some sort or that after working really hard at something or towards something, you finally meet that goal. It could be it could be anything like setting a personal record for running or cycling or lifting weights or getting some type of professional certification. What do you do when you reach that goal? Some guys will be like, I did that, I win, done. But highly confident guys will be like, okay, but how can I go even further? Because confident guys push themselves, constantly wanting to be even better than however amazing it was that they just did. And that is as soon as the goal is achieved, the mind is already thinking about what it's going to take to get to that next level. And that sort of thinking requires another kind of thinking, trait number six, which is that confident men think positive. If you're not believing that you can do something and thinking positively, even if you fail, which you will, then you will not appear as confident. And that is all I'm gonna say about that. Now let me tell you something else about confident guys. Confident guys know that they don't know everything, which means that they have trait number seven, that they are open to learning, which also means that they possess trait number eight, that they are not afraid to ask questions. Think about it. If you don't know how to do something, are you gonna pretend that you know how to do it? Because if you're pretending, you're not really going to feel that confident. Next, so, okay, you know when you're at like a party or with a big group of people, and there's that one guy who's like, hey, everyone pay attention to me. I'm the loudest person talking, so I'm important. Ha 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 ha, I'm gonna make fun of you and make everyone laugh. Do you really think that guy is confident? Now, he may appear confident, but underneath all of that, that guy is super insecure. The confident guy, now, he displays trait number nine, which is that he doesn't need to be heard. Listen, guys that are constantly talking loudly and trying to get you to listen to them almost has the opposite effect. Like, you've got all of this stuff coming at you that you kind of start to not hear anything anymore. You just kind of tune it out because nothing really means anything. But when the confident guy who, you know, doesn't really say much finally says something, you listen. Now for trait number 10, let me just pose a hypothetical situation here. So let's say that there's this guy who, I don't know, like maybe nine years ago started a men's style blog. And then over time that became successful. There's an Instagram account too. There's even a YouTube channel. And there are lots of people who like what he does and they like him. But then there are some people who freaking hate him. like despise this guy, even to the point of giving every new video a thumbs down within 10 seconds of it being posted. But you know, the guy with this website and Instagram and YouTube channel, he doesn't care because of trait number 10, that he knows that he cannot please everyone. If you're trying to please everyone, you're watering down your message and what you stand for. 
Successful brands, successful and confident guys have haters. The pagans make you stronger. So don't try to please everyone. You'll be more confident, more powerful, and more successful once you realize that not everyone's going to love you. So I've used myself as an example for a few of these 10 traits that we've been talking about. And you might think that because of that, that I am a supremely confident person all the time. What I want you to know is that this is not the case. And thinking about these things is something that I do over and over and over again to work on my own confidence. The point is that this is something that you can develop. Nobody has all of these traits without working on them and putting in some effort. And knowing myself, I would say that if I can do it, I definitely know that you can too. Thanks once again to Tiege Hanley for sponsoring this video and reminder to click the link down below in the description to give Tiege a try for yourself and receive a free gift with your first box.